What are the essential skills logistics supervisors need for success? I'm Greg Schenkel, President of Unique Training and Development and Frontline Leadership Systems, and today we need to look at this myth that people should just know how to become leaders if they've worked in an organization long enough. I mean, just because someone's worked in your organization does give them a lot of the technical skills that they need, but it doesn't really give them the leadership skills that they need to be an effective supervisor. The fact is, only 11% of HR leaders feel like they have a strong enough bench strength in their frontline leadership teams to take on the leadership roles that are expected. These essential skills are often seen as things that supervisors should just pick up through osmosis just by being around other leaders. But the problem is that the people don't become good candidates for those leadership roles. And now you've got a problem. You have no one that you can promote from within, and you have to constantly go external to add to your leadership ranks. Some external hiring is good, but you should still be having a pipeline of leaders for internal promotion. So one of our uh, clients with about a dozen employees in their warehouse had a problem. Um, their belief initially was that, hey, if you've worked here long enough, you know what you need to know to become a good supervisor or a leader, which is exactly the wrong assumption to make. And that when they did promote people who they thought should just get it automatically, those people struggled in their roles and they had consequences like turnover and, and not hitting their performance numbers. So what we did, in fact, turning doers and turning good doers into bad leaders is a specialty in some organizations and we don't want it to be for yours. So once they realized that leadership had its own skill sets, they had us come in and deliver the frontline leadership program. And as a result, the leaders now knew what was different about moving from being an individual contributor or a team member uh, to being the leader of a group and getting results through that group. They started to see improvements in their operating results and of course the leaders felt more confident, capable and more consistent with one another. So I've got a few tips for how you can increase the abilities of your supervisors to be more effective and logistics supervisors specifically. Is one is tip number one is to view leadership as a competitive advantage. Too many companies, you know, tout their benefits and their compensation and their location and their flexibility, which are important to people when they're looking for work. But what if you could honestly say that if you come and work for us, you will not work for a bad supervisor or a bad manager? Now, some of you are going, oh, shock. You know, how could you promise somebody that they won't work for a bad boss? Well, if you decide that you're not going to tolerate leadership behaviors that aren't positive and conducive, then over time, you will not have the kind of supervisors that people want to quit and leave to go and work for somebody else. So use leadership as a competitive advantage. Number two is to improve communication, right? Your logistics supervisors need to have good conversations about performance with their people. That means, of course, measuring things, which your organization probably already does, but those need to be turned into conversations about performance. Remember, people generally want to win, but in order to know what it takes to win, they have to be told what winning looks like, and then they have to receive feedback on how to win more consistently. The third thing that a logistics supervisor needs to increase their effectiveness and their performance is to manage conflicts. I'd say it's one of those top three skill sets. And disagreements are going to happen uh, on the factory floor, on the warehouse floor, in the logistics department, because there's going to be disagreements over what we do, how we do, whether the goals are reasonable or unreasonable, what the best method is. Whenever we want to improve something, there's going to be disagreements of whether that's the best idea or not. Um, so managing conflicts and bringing the constructiveness out of these disagreements is a key skill that will make your logistics supervisors more effective. Now, once you've figured out how to do that to increase their effectiveness, you're going to say, boy, the, the well is a little deeper here. We can go a little deeper and build the leadership skills of our team. And of course, that's using our frontline leadership content, whether it's the core content or the additional content that we have in our library. We can either help your team master the fundamentals if they need that, or to look at more advanced leadership skills. And all of that can be delivered either on site with in-person workshops or through our state-of-the-art virtual training studio, or the latest thing that we offer is frontline leadership on demand, which people can take at their own pace, come up with some content, put that into action, and keep their learning going over a number of weeks or months. All of that requires a visit to our website at uniquedevelopment.com and there we can start a conversation and see what is the right solution that will help your leaders elevate their performance and be more successful over time. That will increase retention of talent and also drive best ever operating results.